Hello everyone, um, I just wanted to record this quick video showing off the animation support in WoW export 0.158 I think we're at. Um, yeah, I just want to record this real quick. It's 2am so I'm not going to make it too extensive but I want to show off some of the uh, models that work uh, as well as some of the known issues that we currently have still to uh, correctly set expectations. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, uh, let's start off with this guy. I like this guy. Okay, so you're, you'll note that there's a animation checkbox now. Um, yeah, you'll need to take that for animations to work. If you don't take that, it'll just export the GLTF model with uh, just an armature and nothing else. Um, it is only supported on GLTF models, so if you select OBJ, it won't export an armature or animations. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, let's open the Explorer. Let's drop that in here and preview it. You can see that it exported all the animations on the model. Uh, there's no animation picking yet in while export, so if you export the model, it'll export all of the animations. Uh, check some of them out. That all looks fine. Very cool. Um, it should also work for character models. Uh, obviously, while export is still missing support for uh, proper character customizations and all that, which is still in the works for hopefully at some point. So if we take the test car here, perfect. Uh, export them with animations. Character models might take slightly longer to export for obvious reasons. Um, that is purely because there's just so much more data to uh, to export. Uh, yeah, so I'll grab this one. Open it up, preview it. Yeah, Babylon does not load it properly. So let's try for yes, which it does. Yeah, so you see it's untextured, but that's because it's uh, it's character model stuff probably. But his animations also all seem to work. That's good. And nothing crazy. There are no issues so far. Um, there are, however, some models that have issues. I haven't actually found out why they have issues, uh, but they do. So here's Calicos, for example, and the models I'll be showing, uh, Calicos as well as uh, Anduin, are both in-game cinematic models, which might be related. Uh, but let's uh, show you what I'm talking about here. So let's preview Calicos. Uh, he looks fine like this, and if he uh, does his standing animation, uh, it's also fine. This is a cinematic model, so there's only cinematic animations, no other stuff. There's some clipping here, which is probably also happening in-game, but it's probably not in the shot. Uh, but if we open uh, this animation, you can see that he, uh, he does do his look animation, and he does his walk animation, but the hands are obviously messed up. But there's some issue there that I am um, yet to figure out. Uh, the same goes for Anduin's uh, IGC model. Uh, it's the same, the exact same issue. Uh, except with his nose instead of his hands. Let's export that. Open that up. There we go. Preview that. Right, so he does do his proper standing animation. That all looks good. His nose looks fine. His mouth looks fine. Uh, this animation looks okay, but this one is where things start to get a bit weird. So his nose is inverted or messed up or whatever. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if it's actual vertices breaking or if it's like a, a normals issue. Or it's like not rendering the front face or whatever. I don't know. 
Uh, and the issue also is like on all the other animations. This one seems fine. Yeah, so some of the animations are messed up. Uh, yeah, I don't know what uh, what causes that, um, and I'm not gonna block the release for it. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, hopefully, this is uh, helpful to some people, and uh, maybe maybe we'll get character customization soon as well. Uh, but that's uh, that's a big if. Lots of work left on that. Yeah, that's it. Um, have a good day, and hopefully uh, we'll get this into your hands soon. Bye-bye.